Now, when we look back at Galileo's data, we had uh, this pattern that we wanted to see emerging, this 1, 4, 9, 16. Uh, these seem to be squares, perfect squares. Now, one thing I should mention is an assumption we're making. The assumption we're making when we do this experiment, or just about any experiment, is that nature is repeatable. And by that I mean, when we roll the ball for one unit of time, if we actually roll for one unit, the ball will go the exact same distance in all five of these trials. The reason why these numbers aren't all identical is because we either mistimed or mismeasured the distance. It's an error on our end. It's an error on our end, not on nature's end. And to quantify the error on our end, how good we are at making these observations, we've calculated this average deviation. What this average deviation tells us is that for each of these trials, each of these four different experiments, we believe the true distance to be, well, for example, 1 plus or minus 0 0.01 distance units, whatever those distance units were. That means the true value here could have been between 0 0.99 and 1.01. .01. That means we believe that the minimum distance this ball actually rolled was 0 0.99, and the max was 1.01. .01. This is 1 minus 0 0.01, 1 plus 0 0.01. What would be the minimum and maximum possible true distances for this example? 